Okay, so you have to extract DNA from onion. To start with, take a small onion and slice it finely. So we're going to put 100 ml of the detergent and salt mixture onto the onion. In the beaker. So we'll make up to 100 millilitres. So we put that onto the water bath and that needs to remain there for 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes, take out the beaker and we're going to cool it on ice. Cool it on ice there for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to blend the mixture. So once that's cool, We blend this for five seconds. In a short time, so we don't damage DNA unnecessarily. We need to filter. We filter using a coffee filter. This, this solution being um, filtrate from through here, this will contain our DNA. And it should be uh, relatively pure. And we've taken out the cellulose cell walls and the debris from the cells. As the solution comes through, we can then measure out 10 millilitres of this solution. And we're going to treat the solution then with an, en with an enzyme. If you do the protease, and you must make sure you wear eye protection for this potato. Now the ends I'm going to use is called Nutrays. I need to add just a couple of drops.
order to mix this into your flip mix, Should be nice and um, even consistency. And then, in order to precipitate out the DNA, we need to add ice cold ethanol, industrial, industrial methyl spirits that have been kept in the freezer. Cold straight from the freezer. So we're going to add nine cubic centimeters of the methanol. So ethanol. It's approximately right. And we need to add this gently on the side. DNA will not be soluble in the cold ethanol. And you'll start to see a white cloud forming. You may already be able to see a slight cloudy layer there forming. Okay. Over the next few minutes, that will start to become um, more and more obvious. And that will be the DNA. Leave that. This is DNA. So you can kind of lift it and see it's fibrous, it sticks together. That's the DNA of the onion lifting up out of the, the tube there. You can see the fibres of the way it clumps together and holds itself. So it's not a solution, it's fibres of DNA, many, many thousands of strands, hundreds of thousands of strands of DNA, which you've extracted out of the onion.